Good morning, folks. We're going to be very focused today and break down some interrelated topics in a way I hope will help to understand some data and exclude some poorer interpretations from your decision field. We're starting over at spaceweathernews.com, and first things first, Earth-facing quiet continues in utterly impressive fashion. Big plasma filaments sitting still and silent and turning away from Earth risk position. Others had been releasing in other directions for days. No solar flares either, as sunspots seem like they're not even trying anymore. The real story is in the solar wind, because the last few days is forcing a rethink on a capital element of space weather. We've got Discover and Ace solar wind here, and now those crazy readings are showing up on both charts. The issue is that they're not happening at the same time on both charts. In fact, all but one is off phase in time. The good news is that the blue shift of the phi angle was absolutely real and wiped away the electron storm while doing absolutely nothing else geomagnetically. And as with previous instances of these anomalies on Discover Only, there is absolutely nothing in any other stream or any evidence back here on Earth that those were real solar wind readings. So, what are they? Well, a few things. Someone will inevitably say it's coming from another object inside the solar system. The problem with connecting those two ideas would be that you could put another star 10 feet behind this satellite and the satellite would have absolutely no idea it was even there. It can only detect particles coming in streams from the direction of the sun. And since Discover has had these issues for months of its orbit, we know that all these readings are indeed coming from the particles coming from the sun's direction because Discover has basically been in this for a little more than six months, so basically seen more than half of the solar system. But we know they're all coming from the sun, but does it still mean they're solar particles? Well, the heliosphere is a general shield against galactic cosmic rays, but not an absolute one. Even at solar maximum, even staring right at the sun, we still get incredible flux of cosmic ray strikes to our atmosphere. One of the key things we worry about with the weakening sun is how many more cosmic rays are going to get into the inner system, and yes, even from the direction of the sun. We know that they should be surging now, the cosmic rays, and we're already seeing these glitches on Discover and now very similarly on ACE. Could cosmic rays now be taking over both primary particle satellites? Well, I was discussing this chart with the 9 Risi team the last couple days. For those who don't know, this is Delaware's sunspot and cosmic ray chart. The curves oppose one another. One goes up while the other goes down. And now, look at where we are. We're already at the max cosmic ray level from the end of the last solar sunspot minimum, cosmic ray maximum, and that was a record high and record long cosmic ray maximum because it was a record low and record long solar sunspot minimum. We are still seeing CMEs and sunspots on the sun, and yet the heliosphere is weakening enough that we already are feeling like the finish line. We still have years to climb up in cosmic rays on this chart, and with a longer-term grand solar minimum in play for our star, it's looking like the primary cloud, cooling, global electric circuit, and hail concern is surging. With every ounce of space weather knowledge I have, I can tell you we are just getting started. For those who caught the latest deeper look about the big star slingshot set to happen in 2018, that's more about the energetic side of things, gamma rays which cause increased UV damage risks at ground level through a complex atmospheric chemistry process. Folks, there are weather alerts across much of the globe. We'll see them here, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.